everyone. I would like you all to gather around the table and let me tell you all a fable. To gather around for the tale of the bird folk, the Aarakocra of Tahiri, high fantasy, and more. The Aarakocra of Tahiri reformed from ordinary birds by Karametra, the goddess of harvest, and Karanos, the storm father. The Aarakocra were made to defend nature from the draconic invasion during the War of the Frozen Hells. The gods divided them into four tribes, each tasked with defeating certain kinds of dragons of this sort of draconic threat. Although there are more than four tribes for the differing dragons, the largest are those of fire, water, air, and earth. The fire tribe, the slayers of the red dragons, consisting of turkeys and roosters even, were known to launch attacks at the break of dawn, beginning with the deafening screeches before swarming the battlefield. Karametra and Karanos combined their powers to give the Fire Tribe the ability to ignite their feathers with spontaneous flames, which the Aarakocra would use to devastate Red Dragon feeding grounds. However, it did not stop there. The Water Tribe, the Slayers of the Dragon Turtles, were formed by the likes of penguins and other aquatic bird creatures. These, or these gods in Karametra and Karanos made fierce warriors from penguins and birds of the sea, which formed the same water tribe. These Aarakocra would call upon their divine gift to breathe underwater for long stretches of time and endure freezing waters, enabling them to wage war against the dragon turtles which lurked in sprawling coral reefs and submerged arctic grottos. To inspire their armies and frighten their foes, the Water Tribe created ritual dances and performances to represent strength, unity, and pride. Then, we look towards the likes of our third Aarakocra tribe, the Air Tribe, slayers of the white and blue dragons, consisting of owls and eagles. Soaring high above the lands of Tahiri, this Air Tribe, consisting of eagles, owls, ravens, and more, were gifted the unnatural agility and endurance necessary to combat the blue and white dragons which terrorize the skies and mountains. The Storm Father, the Storm God, imbued the feathers of the Air Tribe, allowing them to be thrown like knives as they beat their wings. Some flocks migrate amongst seasonal nesting grounds, while others stay aloft for moments at a time. Some flocks are even rumored to congregate on the backs of enormous condors, which perpetually glide across the land. But our adventure does not end there, my friends, as we look towards the final tribe and the Earth. Slayers of green and black dragons, peacocks and toucans. Of the Aarakocra tribes, the Earth tribe was the most stationary, consisting of peacocks, toucans, and other birds of the forest and jungles of Tahiri, as they were transformed by the gods to fight the green and black dragons in their caves and swamps. Aerometra, the god of harvest, endowed the Earth tribe with the power to shape Earth and harness nature. After the danger of the dragons diminished, the Earth tribe utilized their abilities to create grand dwellings made of trees and plant life. Although they are known for their art and culture, the Earth Tribe soldiers trained to be ready for the return of their draconic foes.